here are our favorite stories about bugs. First up, check out this terrifying and noisy scene. A swarm of hornets is not happy with exterminator Jude Barrett. Fortunately, Jude is covered head to toe in protective gear. He had to remove the hornet's nest, and these stinging insects were not pleased. This looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. How big was this nest? I tell people it was as big as a full-size refrigerator. All right, we got here what I would say is the granddaddy of a hornet's nest. Jude, who's based in Louisiana, was responding to a call about a nest in a shed. But this one was a lot bigger than he'd expected. Ooh. That's all now. Piece by piece, he pulled the nest apart. Listen to those hornets. Then he used a shovel to dismantle it. Jude even found the queen. There's the queen right there. Despite all the buzz, he didn't get a single stick, but he did get some great footage of the job. Next, this was just one staying bug, but not one to mess with. Do you want to give him a kiss? <laughs> the insect had landed on Chrissy Teigen's arm while the model and actress was vacationing in Bali. What is this, Luna? A bug? It's a bug. Chrissy tweeted the video with this caption, quote, I swear to God, if one of you tells me this is a deadly bug, I will vomit. Turns out the bug may have been a tarantula hawk wasp, and it's still got a very painful sting. It can even paralyze your arm. This is the most nervous I've ever been to take a sting or bite from anything. Coyote Peterson knows from personal experience. second that you feel that stinger inserting into your arm, the venom immediately takes hold and you know that you have been stung, almost like a taser or a lightning bolt shooting into your arm and immediately it sends you into a state of paralysis. It is pretty intense. Fortunately, Chrissy and her family did not have a similar experience. We're alive. We're alive. Here's another big bug. This is Mega Kai Pluto, the world's largest bee and something I've dreamed of seeing for about nine years. Stumbled across this nest and found the perfect nest entrance and waited and here's our prize. Wildlife experts say the wingspan of this bee, once thought to be extinct, measures almost three inches. The species native to Indonesia hadn't been seen since 1981. It was one of conservationists' top 25 species to find. This particular specimen was found in a termite's nest several feet off the ground. At least this guy was happy about insects, unlike the residents of this Illinois town. Check out this invasion of mayflies. This is how it looked from police dash cam. Mayflies can grow to be an inch long and they only live for 24 hours. This swarm happened in Havana, Illinois. Police even issued a warning, quote, there was an invasion of mayflies that has caused the bridge to be very dangerous. Use caution. It's like ice on this bridge. Watch as this officer tries to navigate the bugs. Oh my God, Jesus, oh Jesus. When the mayflies emerge, they emerge en masse in just large numbers of adults at one time. The flies even showed up on Doppler radar maps. Something similar happened in North Carolina after Hurricane Florence an invasion of monster mosquitoes. They're all over the window. They're just waiting to attack. The big bloodsuckers are three times the size of your average mosquito. They swarmed across the southern state after the storm hit. It's so bad. It's disgusting and terrifying. Cassie Vodovsky recorded video of the pests swarming around her car. I've never seen mosquitoes this bad before. I worry about my kids, so we're really running to and from the car. They even tried to get Cassie while Inside Edition was interviewing her. I know, <laughs> they're getting my legs. Exterminators worked to counter the population explosion, which was said to number in the billions. One exterminator said, They're larger, they're more aggressive, um, and, and, they, and they, bite through, they can bite you through your clothes. I have not experienced anything as bad as it has been this by far. This homeowner agreed. 
They were huge. Yay. Swarm mosquitoes everywhere. More than we have ever noticed <laughs> before. Perhaps some EDM would have helped. Scientists in Malaysia published a study with an unusual finding. Playing Skrillex's scary monsters and nice sprites caused one group of mosquitoes to bite and reproduce less than a control group of mosquitoes. Um, it, is, it is quite a dramatic song, but the interesting aspect of this song is that it has a lot of the tones which are sort of going from low pitch to high pitch through a whole range of sounds. And if you do that, then it is not surprising that somewhere in that range of sounds, you hit, you hit a certain tone that does have an impact on the behavior of these mosquitoes. Still, Dr. Knowles cautioned against relying on music to guard against mosquitoes. There is, there is just no way that I would recommend anyone to play this song as a means to protect him or herself against mosquito bites. That's not going to work. And sometimes the peskiest of bugs are actually welcome. Like these cockroaches in China. A billion of these infamous insects are hard at work at a composting facility. They get fed 100,000 pounds of kitchen waste every single day. People who work at the facility have to be okay with roaches crawling all over them. And in turn, the roaches are fed to pigs and, yes, people. What the heck is that? A driver named Tommy Hortman spotted this thing in his car. I was about to brush it, roll down the window and brush it out, and all of a sudden it started moving. It looks like it's from another planet. It does. That was my first thought, is if I burn this whole truck down, I'm saving humanity. But <laughs> it almost looked like a lobster dressed as a spider for Halloween. It looked like it had hairy spider legs on it and a little lobster tail, and it was kind of lumbering along. So what was this creepy crawler? Turns out it's a hag moth caterpillar. I rolled down the window, got a, a paper, a, a napkin, and, and <laughs> just scooched it out into the parking lot. Next time, Tommy should call this guy. Kelvin Wiley is a bit of an insectophile. He even lets them crawl on his face and in his mouth. The New Jersey native is a bug collector who documents his bug life on his Instagram page. You know what they say, a picture is worth a thousand bugs. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Stephanie Officer.